Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey, and I'm here with Julia. And Julia, how old are you? Are you? 24. 24 years old. And you, you ride horses. Mm -hmm. How long have you been riding horses? Almost 12 years now. Well, you're, so since you were 12? Yeah, since I was like 14. Okay. Probably. Wow. It's been at least 10, at least 10 years. So. And um, you have cerebral palsy? Yes. And you have more involvement in your legs than your arms? Yes. And more involvement on your left side than your right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Uh, before we ride, we always do our stretches to make sure that my body is nice and loose for the uh, horse ride. Oh, looks like you're doing heel cords right now and, and hamstrings at the same time? Yes. Trying. <laughs> and um, does horseback riding help you? Yes, it helps to relax the muscles, especially my legs, um, so that they're not as tight as they, they are on regular basis, and, and it helps to uh, manage the tightness and the pain. Do you have pain with your legs? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Not they, that bad. They spasm? Uh, no, they're just tight like all the time. Like ima imagine, like imagine when you're tight or or feeling your strong motion, and um, you can't relax. Okay. Then that's how I feel like this whole time. Wow. Uh huh. And um, you you can walk with forearm crutches. Mm -hmm. Um. And does the movement of the horse help you? Walk better, you think, or yes, uh, because it loosens the, the muscles and everything. It, it helps me to gain better balance after I'm on the horse. Okay, and you can so you can notice a difference over time, or from the beginning of a session to the end of the session. The beginning of the session to the end of the session. Usually, I'll be like a lot better able to better able to walk after. A session. Okay, meaning your balance is better, or your legs are not as stiff, or both. 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 Wow. A child with cerebral palsy or a young lady, mm -hmm. uh, it's very easy to give a subluxation or dislocation. So we come in under her leg. We're going to bring it out from the hip. Mm -hmm. Ready? Breathe. And we pull out and down mm -hmm. at the same time gently. There we go. Out and down. Good. Out and down. And then we get the stirrup on. Now mm -hmm. push down into it. There you go. Take him a step. He's got his cock, his hip cocked. Okay. Yeah, if I he can square cool. up. There you go. Now, good. Mm -hmm. Ready for the other one? We did stretch out a lot, and I did. Yeah. I just. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. There we go. Now let's get your foot in. If you can do your. Two points to stretch. Go okay. ahead to your two point. That looks short. It Pull looks up. good though. Oh, does it? Yeah. Up you go. Stretch down into those legs. Okay. That's my girl. Go ahead and walk your hands up a little further. Both hands. There you go. Grab mom. You're going to support her. Like this. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. far yeah, yeah, I know. This this leg is tightening up and I just go need, ahead and walk. Yeah, I need him to yeah. move. My walk. Yeah. You sit if you need to. There you go. Why don't you try putting your hands behind your saddle okay. and your chest up to the sky and just really do some deep breathing. Visualize into that sore muscle. There, you feel the stretch? Yeah. Is that good? Okay. Way to go, Nanner. By golly, you look good. And um, and then over time, so from the beginning to the end of the session, you think it's better, but over time, you think it has improved you, the way you walk and stand and move? Absolutely. Um, I noticed that I'm that I'm my posture is a lot better. I don't fall as much when I whenever I have whenever I have this kind of therapy because I did go for a long time without it. Uh huh. Because I have surgery and then a lot of stuff happened and I noticed that during that time I um my my balance was really bad. And then when you started back up it got yeah, better again. Yeah. That's awesome. And um you are preparing for a show coming up in Raleigh? Mm-hmm. So you have a specific routine that you're working on? Yeah, we're working on the serpentine pattern. It's like a half of figure eight. 
It's like a snake. And is it a competition and you're judged and compared to other people, or how does it work? Um, I think it's more, I think it's better to have more of the display of what we can do at the, uh, on, as our organization, because I'm, I'm going with a few other riders and they're practicing the same and it's going to be like one after the other. Okay, cool. Very important. Good boy. Good boy. Good. 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 Beautiful. Good. Good. Yes, come back through. Good, good. Look at you posting. Go, girl. And whoa. Oh, y'all, that was beautiful. Sarah, that was great. He's not easy to do that with. That was perfect. So Julia is so cute. She likes to say she was just a weak kid when she came. She used to fall all the time. She said when she's riding regularly, she doesn't fall. So when she went from elementary into middle school and she had to actually go from class to class, it was really hard for her to keep up with the other students on her crutches to carry her books. And she said that she would fall three times a week trying to get to class and back and she was always late. And so it made it really difficult for her at school. Um, but when she rides consistently, she does not fall. Her, her legs can act with reciprocal motion. She can move them more ably. Since she has been riding with us, she has gotten off the back of fin, which is wonderful. She was thrilled. She'd always wanted to because she didn't like the way it made her feel. But as long as she can keep riding, and that's why she's one that we have ride year round. If it's cold, she rides in the barn. Because uh, if she goes two weeks without riding, she falls. She has a lot of pain and stiffness and just like a mobility. I'm going to slide like another car. Yep, there you go. All right, here's the Thank you, Juju. Good job, everybody. Your legs do look looser. Yeah. Mm -hmm, they feel looser. Yeah. Yeah. What I loved about this session was that Julia is a young lady now who's no longer in physical therapy and she has found that horseback riding really helps her and through the therapeutic program that Dory Pell offers at Victory Farm she has found a place that can meet her long-term needs in terms of handling her condition of having cerebral palsy. I hope this was helpful for you and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. If you liked this video and would like to be notified by email when the next video comes out, click the subscribe button here and click the golden bell icon and ensure notifications are enabled on your account.